If there was one movie you could completely delete from reality, what would it be? The live-action Avatar The Last Airbender. This was the movie I had in mind when I was writing this question. I just finished the TV series and the movie is terrible. There is no movie in Ba Sing Se. The runner-up goes to Dragon Ball Evolution. I would remove the movie The Mandela Effect because it would cause mass confusion and lead on the topic of The Mandela Effect and people would go insane. Edit. What? B. F. I am pretty new to Reddit and got the app not that long ago. I make this comment. Go off to do other things. And come back to over 25k upvotes and 5 awards. This is super overwhelming. Thanks for my first silver and thanks to everyone that upvoted. You just started my entire Reddit career. The live action Dragon Ball movie. It's just sad. Didn't know one existed. Probably for a reason. Edit. Oh god that's bad I started watching it and it was so bad I regret everything. LOL. I have a rule that when these threads come up I control plus F for Dragon Ball. Then apologize as I worked on it. This time around, looks like Dragon Ball is mentioned twice in the top 10 haha. <laughs> wow what a pile of poo. No, without that movie we wouldn't have Baga and the subsequent revival of Dragon Ball. It's a necessary evil. Artemis Fowl. There are enough issues with the film to make even a casual watcher hate it. Forget about those who read the books. They went beyond screwing up. He has a butler named Domovoy Butler. Me. Visible anger. I knew it was going to be bad as soon as I saw Artemis surfing. Dude doesn't even have the dexterity to successfully climb a ladder and you have him surfing. Question mark. Just no. It's actually quite impressive when you think about it. I'd never have thought they could F up that much. The Fahrenheit 451 movie. Just for the irony. They've all been pretty poor representations of the book as well. Aragon. One of the most disappointing movies of my lifetime. I've seen this answer so often I have fortunately avoiding seeing that movie. Waiting for the author to reply. As he usually does when this topic comes up. Lol not as bad as Cirque du Freak. The fourth Harry Potter so people will wonder why they made all the movies but just skip the fourth. I like the way you think. Everyone just scratching their heads wondering why Voldemort is suddenly back when last they heard. He was a zit on the back of some professor's melon. You, dot you are some kind of criminal genius. The Dark Tower. Stephen King fans waited years and years and years for this movie. Only for a 90-minute bullshit parade that didn't scratch the surface of the story. Cats. I don't know what the director was thinking with Cats. I had a great time with Cats. I got more high than I've ever been before and went with a friend. Theater was almost completely empty. Most people were in their 20s, a few even showed up in costume. We were all on some kind of drug. There were also two families with young kids. Who I'm sure felt out of place. The Emoji Movie. Also how TF is the eggplant emoji, unpopular, in a movie about a high schooler. Hey let's have the nicest and kindest actor that ever existed play a literal piece of S. Just remember, they're the same ones that made into the Spider-Verse. There's two that come right to the top of my mind. One, the live-action Avatar, TLA, and the second, Aragon. Honestly, Aragon is probably the winner in my mind. It's a four-part book series that could have made fantastic movies. But whoever made the first movie had apparently never read the books because they made some seriously critical errors that made a second book narratively impossible. Yeah, they should just friggin' redo that. Loads of potential. The third and fourth mummy. Let the mummy returns be the gold standard for sequels. Edit. So many gold quality sequels have entered this chat. Let the mummy returns be the gold standard for sequels. Terminator 2 has entered the chat. Can I delete season 8 of Game of Thrones instead? Can we delete season 7 as well? The most gut ending. 
seeing as they knew it would be the final season, would be if they lost the Battle of the Long Night and then we watched Cersei realize how bad she'd F up when she now had three dragons and double the original army of the dead banging on her door. Season ends with everyone dead. The ending only Gut could have pulled off if it had been done as well as the first five seasons. Dragon Ball Evolution. That movie is horrible! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Thank you for commenting. I was beginning to wonder if nobody was going to say anything. Lol. Every time these threads come up I control plus F for Dragon Ball and apologize as I was someone who worked on it. The Dark Tower. Well, all realities. There are other worlds than these. Edit. Apparently people who didn't read the books enjoyed this movie. My advice, if you enjoyed what you saw, read the books if you want a really amazing story that blows the film version out of the water. Did a chum. Did a chuck. Sony Pictures. What the F. I was so excited when they announced it. Idris Elbezid and I was excited for them to kick off a new series based on books I like. And yeah, it was bad. Birth of a Nation. It sparked violence against the black community and kickstarted a new surge in interest in the KKK. Edit copied from one of my comment responses. The KKK existed, yes, but it was a smaller regional organization. The film was propaganda when it was the first film screened and marketed widely as such. At the White House at Wilson's request, people saw it as him giving it the rubber stamp of approval. Almost an endorsement for the film's portrayal of black men is unintelligent and predatory. William J. Simmons took the opportunity of the film's screenings to garner visibility for the KKK and held a huge cross-burning. Took out ads for KKK membership alongside ads for the film and went to screenings with his clansmen in full regalia. They sold costumes, movie ushers wore white sheets, and they handed out KKK brochures at screenings. It was used as a recruitment tool and can be directly credited as the reason the KKK has a rebirthing of its own. Kissing Booth. No Kissing Booth. No Kissing Booth 2. F that movie. I love how the main character has no aspirations of her own. It's especially evident in the second movie when she is forced to choose between the school her boyfriend goes to or the school her best friend wants to go to. Like what about the school you want to go to? Add tall girl to that list as well. Might as well call it First World Problems the movie. Son of the Mask. That movie is so bad. That even though I know for a fact that I have definitely seen it. I do not recall one single detail of it. I completely blocked it from memory. Sierra Burgess is a loser. The main character that you're supposed to feel for is a catfish the entire movie and gets mad at. Things just never goes away because she isn't pretty. Not because she comes off thinking she is better than other people because she knows literature or literally lies 90% of the movie. Edit Sierra not Sarah. So awful I did not even remember her her name. Yeah she's a horrible entitled person and the movie was trash. Netflix's Death Note. I still don't get how it shows up under the horror genre on Netflix. It's mostly a comedy. It's like they looked at the anime, manga and thought, hey, the kids love the spooky aspect in that scary looking dude. Forget the cat and mouse game. Light has to be a relatable teen. He can't be smart or a sociopath. He has to be clumsy and relatable. Oh and L. We'll keep him the same. But he's more in your face rather than hands off.